Hello there. Today I want to talk about Dominion Solo Armadas. Will be a short video just on the Solo Armadas, but it's an important topic and at some point in the game you will want to do them because once you have the Bajoran faction in the store, there are some very nice things. For example, the Defiant you want. Yeah, I know. I still don't have it, but I will have it shortly. But with Dominion Solo Armadas, you get the uncommon loot exchange. You get uncommon loot from uncommon armadas, like with every other armada as well. The uncommon armadas get uncommon loot, then there are rare armadas with rare loot, epic armadas with epic loot. It's all the same with Dominion Solo Armadas, but you get nice stuff there. You get diplomacy tokens. You need those diplomacy tokens to get uh, building plans for the Defiant. And later for some other nice stuff with the rare and epic stuff, you get Cisco um, officer shards and stuff like that. Then you get Bajoran credits and nicer stuff like ultra recruit tokens, trade XP, but also Dominion Solo Armada directives for rare Dominion Solo Armadas and interceptor parts and, and so on and so on. But to be able to exchange the loot, you of course has to have to get the loot. And that's why I want to quickly talk about how to do a Dominion Solo Armada. This is the lowest one, the 35. Uncommon is the lowest Dominion Solo Armada you can do. You see, it's a 22 million Armada and it's a solo Armada. That means you cannot do it with the other members of your alliance as you do the other Armadas. You have to do it alone and you can use three ships at the same time. In other armadas, you know, you always can only use one of your ships and it must be, uh, all ships must be from different members of your alliance and you cannot use more than one. In this case, you can use up to three armadas, uh, ships. But the Jemadar flagships, which are the solo armadas, are quite mean because they have a ability and the ability is that they fully restore hull health when they win the battle. So it's not possible as usual that you hit an armada, damage it and hit it again until you destroy it. When you hit a Jemadar flagship or a Dominion solo armada, it will completely restore itself if you fail in this attack. And so you should wait until you are able to do it. To start a solo armada, you need a hundred uncommon uh, solo armada directives for the dominion and you can join with multiple ships but your only your three strongest will be in this armada and when the timer reaches uh, zero the three strongest ships you send there will take part in this armada but what do you need um in my case i'm a little bit further now and i have ships that with, with which I can easily do this. I have a D4, an Augur and an Enterprise, but I started when I didn't have an Augur or an Enterprise. The first time I managed to destroy a Dominion Solo Armada it was with a D4, with a Gladius and with a Centurion. Um, it was a Max Centurion, a half-tiered Gladius, and I think it was a tier 5 D4 when I first managed to, to do these armadas. So you need a little bit of, of strength. And um, I had about 7 million power, over, no, 8 million power when I did this um, for the first time. So you have to have a look. But it's also important about the crews. And that's what I want to show you. We just have a quick look at all the ships I'm using. Not, don't look at the ships too much. They are much stronger now than needed for this armada. But the crews are important. And on my D4, I use the Cisco crew. That means Benjamin Cisco with the shapeshifter Kira and with Miles O'Brien. And uh, that is quite a nice crew for that. And then on my Augur, I use another DS9 uh, crew, which I messed up here, <laughs> I can tell you, but <laughs> happens to everyone. And this is just um, t 
typical for showing no Jazia is supposed to be the captain Julian and uh, Belana with him with her Julian is boosting Jetsia in that case if I do it correctly and Belana is not boosting because I, I don't have enough officers for the boosts but it's enough, uh, good enough the way it is but now that I messed up we will try what happens if Julian is the captain but remember I usually would have used Jetsia as captain of that and the third one is my enterprise I have the Riker Armada crew on it. So William Riker as captain with uh, Tasha Yar and Worf uh, at his sides because I don't use Troy or Geordi or so because they have special abilities against uh, Federation, Klingon and Rom Armadas and uh, I really like this combination and it usually works. And as I said if you want to start it But before starting, I want to show you the rewards. The rewards are the solo Armada credits, the uncommon ones, it's about 40,000. And it's four Dominion solo Armada addicts you also need on your Bajoran faction store. If you want to start it, just choose one of the ships you want to use there. Press the solo Armada, pay for it. And then this ship joins, then pick your next ship, click go to and your third ship and go to and you see all three ships have joined the armada. Now those solo armadas are only one and a half minutes and not 15 minutes like the normal armadas which is good uh, otherwise you would have too long time to wait and you see all three ships are locked in. Usually you see them on normal armadas with different players but here you see they are all my ships and I have a, now I have 15 million for this 22 million uh, solar mother that is not what I need here but uh, it's working to to show this now and it's as simple as that now you just have to wait for the Armada to run the countdown uh, through and uh, then you will see if you manage to destroy it or not. And in this case, we have the fun part to see what, how much damage does the Augur get with uh, Dr. Bashir as captain instead of Jitsia. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a little fun add-on for the video. But um, those armadas are quite tough. It's, uh, we also have the so other solo armadas, that's the, the Borg. But you see here is also a 10 second countdown. All ships have to be joined and in the circle at the 10 second countdown um, otherwise they are not taking part but you see now they're attacking as usual and they destroyed it and that with the strength of my ships it didn't play a big role that I picked Bashir as captain for this solo armada but that's just how it works we can have a look at the battle log that's the Jemadar flagship. You see it's quite destroyed. Um, we're not going through the battle log now, but just let's see what we got in case of rewards. I did some research and uh, stuff like that and uh, did some research in the Bajoran faction. That's why I got 60,000 um, uncommon solo Armada Dominion credits here. And I can also claim the chest, which will give me another 2200 Dominion Solo Armada credits of the uncommon sort. It's that easy and not that easy. So you need a certain basic strength when you get started with it and uh, you need Armada crews at best that work best for me but you if you only have one Armada crew for the two other ships then use one burning crew and one hull breach crew that should work as well but in my case I had three Armada crews that's why I wanted to show you that's uh, the best I can do here I will do another video at a later point of time where I show you the Borg solo Armadas as well and uh, my crews will be a little bit different and my ships will be different and that's why I definitely will make another video on that for now I just hope you enjoy your rewards from the Bajoran faction store that you get your defiant by doing solo armadas in time 
And if you want to know more about crews, ships, officers or armadas, the next video is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.